Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship. Today, we continue the gathering tournament, the tournament to, to determine the next number one contender who will take on AB for the Mac Flash Movie Trivia Championship title. This is a single elimination tournament. This is our final first round matchup, and I am so excited to get uh, to get to these players. Introducing first, returning after a short absence, playing from season one with a record of zero wins, three defeats, which I actually just like to call three professional matches under his belt. Welcome back, Jason Bedard. Yeah, How are you, sir? I'm good. You re are you ready? Have you been studying? Well, yeah, I, I'm looking for my first win, so. Yes, okay. and I... I'm excited to see if that happens here. It'll yeah. be amazing. Everyone in the green room will be out of their seats, Dang. blown away. Absolutely. Because you are up against the CEO of Mac Flash Entertainment. That's Chief Entertainment Officer with a record of two wins, one defeat. Francois Jacques... Oh, what's he up, guys? Is, he is getting going ready, ready on, everybody. As well. wait, 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 were I you, am in. Were you, were you ready sniffing the marker? You were sniffing the marker. I wasn't. I'm not not sniffing the marker. <laughs> <laughs> Francois, how are you? I'm doing great, man. I'm pumped. I'm so glad to be uh, uh, back in the saddle. Yes. Um, I can't wait. To, this is. This could go either way. I mean, uh, Jay and I have faced off before. No, you keep saying that. That I, has I, not I happened. Think, I don't think we have. We haven't? No. no. I got to stop sniffing markers. <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep sniffing the markers. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. The it's working out for you. Sniff, the yeah. more marker you sniff, the, the better my answers look. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I'm, I'm, I'm confident in that. That That is one right answer for you already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, if you guys are ready, so am I. As soon as I remember to bring up the rules. Mm. There are rules to this thing? Yeah. Um, okay. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Yep. Gentlemen, the rules. To round number one, it's a three-round match. Rules to round number one are the players will be asked ten questions from different movie categories. They will be, they will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. One point is awarded for each correct answer. You've both played before. I know you're ready, but I'll just ask one more time. Francois, are you ready? I'm ready. Jay, are you ready? Yes, sir. Then let's play. Yes. Round one. Question number one. In 80s movies, Jake and Elwood are on a mission from God in what 1980 film? Jake and Elwood are on a mission from God in what 1980 film? Five, four, three... Two, one. Let's start with the returning Jason. And when you reveal, we need you to say the answer too, Jay. Oh, sorry. Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers is correct for a point. Francois. The Blues Brothers. Also correct. Right. Yes. For a point. Round one, question number two. 90s movies. Who played the title role of Mary in There's Something About Mary? Who played the title role of Mary in There's Something About Mary? Five, four, three, two, one. Start with Francois. Cameron Diaz. Correct. Jay. Francois is right. Oh, I threw a blank. Claire Danes is incorrect. No, I, I knew it was, but I took a shot. I Shoot want to point me. out that he had the right initials. That's true. 
Half point. Hacker half point. <laughs> Hacker half point. There you go. Round round one, question number three. Action and adventure. In what 2011, in what 2011 film does Sorce Ronin play a 15-year-old assassin? In what 2011 film does Sorce Ronin play a 15-year-old assassin? Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Jay. Hannah? Correct for a point. Francois? Well, with relief, he says Hannah. Hannah is correct. Oh. Scores three to two. For Francois, he's in the lead. Moving on to uh, question number four: In animated or family films, a young boy named Hogarth befriends a robot from outer space. In and that, excuse me, a young boy named Hogarth befriends a robot from outer space that a paranoid government agent wants to destroy. In what 1999 animated movie? A young boy named Hogarth befriends a robot from outer space that a paranoid government agent wants to destroy in what 1999 movie? Five, four, three, two, one. We'll start with Francois. The Iron Giant. Is correct. Jay. Iron Giant. Also correct. The score is four to three for Francois. Uh, question number five in comedies Who stars alongside Mila Kunis and Catherine Hahn in the movie Bad Moms? Who stars alongside Mila Kunis and Catherine Hahn in the movie Bad Moms? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Jay. Uh, question mark. That is incorrect. Francois? Is it not Cameron Diaz again? It is not Cameron Diaz again. Okay. It's Kristen Bell. Oh. oh. Well, that's yeah, why. She, she's lovely. <laughs> no, yes, yes. I can't picture her as a bad mom. She's just... No. She's just... <laughs> She's just, yeah, I'm, about, I'm with you. Well, let's just end the Anna, sentence. We're talking just... about Anna from Frozen. Mm. Sure, that's right. Yeah. Veronica Mars herself. Yeah. Question number seven in dramas. While herding sheep in Wyoming, Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal begin a, begin a long secret relationship in what 2005 film? That's question number six, excuse me. Question number six in drama, while herding sheep in Wyoming, Heath Ledger and Jake Gyllenhaal begin a long secret relationship in what 2005 film? Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna start with Francois. Brokeback Mountain. Is correct, Jay. I was having a little bit of fun with this one. Uh, broke back hill, no valley, no <laughs> mountain. Yes, yes, Close. broke back mountain. <laughs> now, I think you should just be nice to sheep. I don't know why they were hurting them. <laughs> no, I know, no. right? That doesn't make sense, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, we're on to question number seven. Round one, question number seven horror thriller. What continent does the 1982 movie? The thing take place on In horror thriller. What continent does the 1982 movie The Thing take place on? Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Jay. Antarctica is correct. Francois. Asia. 
is the, incorrect. Jay the ties the score. It is five to five as we go on from round one. Question number eight. Musicals. Who plays soul singer James Thunder Early in Dreamgirls? Who plays soul singer James Thunder Early in Dreamgirls? Five, four, three, two, one. Francois? Eddie Murphy? Correct. Jay? Eddie Murphy. Correct. Six, six. This is so much fun. <laughs> now, I, I have a question, and I know we're <laughs> like, I could ask this after the first or second question, but given that my whiteboard is so big, am I squaring it up right when I, when I, show yes, I have been able to read it. Okay. Okay. I just, Cause I can't see the screen when I hold this. Thing <laughs> <up>. <laughs> okay. Round one, question number nine. Romantic comedies. Catherine Heigl plays a perpetual bridesmaid in what 2008 movie? Catherine Heigl plays a perpetual bridesmaid in what 2008 movie? Five, four, three, two, one. We are oh, starting no. with Jay. 27 dresses is correct. Francois 28 dresses. I added a dress. Oh, oh, oh. Jay takes the lead. I and knew seven it. to six. Oh. I, you know when I knew it? You know when I knew it? When you reached two on the countdown. And I was like, there's no time to erase and change that number. We were talking earlier before we were, we were recording. What would happen if someone lost by a letter? Yeah. I yeah. just lost by a number. <laughs> yeah. But the game is not over. The round is not even over yet. This is round one, question number 10. Sci-fi fantasy. Which character has been played by both Sylvester Stallone and Carl Urban? Which character has been played by both Sylvester Stallone and Carl Urban? Five... Four, three, two, one. And we are starting with Francois. Judge Dredd. Is correct. Jay. Judge Dredd. Also correct. And keeps his lead at the end of the round. Eight to seven for Jason Bedard. How are you guys feeling? This is intense. This is I very intense. It. It's like it. camping. Yeah. It's, yeah intense. it's like camping. It's, it's that like camping. intense. Yeah. You know, you can't run in a campground. You can only ran because it's past tense. There you go. <laughs> I love these. I just I just add them to my dad joke list. That's yeah. fine. You gotta you gotta maintain. You gotta maintain. That's a podcast I wanna listen to. Jay and Francois <laughs> just going back and forth with dad jokes. Hey, hey Francois, did I tell you about the time I found a bunch of old watches and I made a belt? Oh, that's such that sounds like a waste of time. It did. <laughs> yes, in fact, it was. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm gonna high five you across the screen right now. Like that. There, oh wait, no, I gotta go. Which it's way? It's mirrored. Yeah, it's mirrored. You gotta high five this way. Okay, there we go. There Boom! We go. <laughs> Coming this fall on the Mac Flash Entertainment Channel. Oh my God! Can you imagine? That'd be a great show. Oh. The Pun Show. Yeah. Okay, well, you guys are certainly warmed up for round number two. Round number two, the rules go like this. They're very similar to round number one with some differences. The players will be asked to select five categories, eliminating them from round number three. They will, they will be asked questions from those categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has increased. Two points are awarded for each correct answer. We... Uh, do the picking uh, in according to the score, and since Jay is in the lead, he will get to pick first. All right, let's do um, animated or family. Animated family. Oh, okay, and, and before round two starts, can we just acknowledge and note that Jason is leading 
at the end of the first round. Everyone is losing their minds over that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Francois. Um, I will take a uh, horror thriller. Horror thriller for number two. Jay. Um, romantic comedies. Romantic comedies has been getting a lot of play in this tournament. 80s movies. 80s movies for question number four. Mm -hmm. And Jay. Um, musical. Musical. Will be the fifth question of round number two. Excellent. So, if you guys are ready, yes. round two, question number one in animated or family films. <clears throat> Who voiced the role of Lord Business in the Lego movie? They are writing so fast, it probably should have been round one question. Who voiced the role of Lord Business in the Lego movie? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's start with Jay. Will Farrell. But I was I was mess, messing around with spelling. You are correct. Either way, two points. Francois. Will Farrell. Two points for you as well. Scores so ten to are, nine. Are Will Farrell and Pharrell Williams like mortal enemies? Is, That's is that... a, no relation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, question number two in horror thriller. In which movie will you find Nicole Kidman frightened to find an old woman saying, I am your daughter? In which movie will you find Nicole Kidman frightened to find an old woman saying, I am your daughter? Five, four, three, two, one. We're starting with Francois. It was the ing, so I wrote the conjuring. That is incorrect, Jason. Right. I am also incorrect, but I guessed contact. Also incorrect. It was the others. Ah, that's what it is. The something. So, so it, <laughs> it it was the other movie then. Yeah, the not other the movie, one, not the one I wrote down. Nope, yeah. the other one. Okay. <laughs> Round two, question number three in romantic comedies. In what movie is Drew Barrymore one bad marriage away from becoming Julia Gulia? In what movie is Drew Barrymore one bad marriage away from becoming Julia Gulia? Five, four, three, two, one, J. The wedding singer. That is. The, uh, Billy Idol gets it. <laughs> <laughs> two points for Jay Francois. Two points for you as well. as well. The wedding singer is correct. The score is 12 to 11. As we move on to round two, question number four 80s movies. Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and Dolly Parton scheme about killing their boss and are then forced to kidnap him in what movie? Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and Dolly Parton scheme about killing their boss and are then forced to kidnap him in what movie? Five, four, three, two, one. We are starting with Francois. It's not this. I'm sure this is what the song is from, but nine to five. Correct. Oh, shh. Oh. And Jay? I went with Working Girls. Well, that's oh, not that's incorrect. Francois takes the lead. The <sighs> score is 13 to 12. You know what's funny is I was thinking about Working Girls, and that's what I was trying to come up with, and I didn't. And I was like, just write down 9 to 5. <laughs> there you go. Man, that's great. This is so exciting. Uh, round two, question number five in musicals. In the musical Annie... 
What is the name of Annie's dog? In the musical Annie, what is the name of Annie's dog? Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jason. Sandy. Is correct for two points. Mm -hmm. Francois. I went for a different qualifier. Rusty. Rusty is incorrect. Jay takes the lead again. The score is 14 to 13. We have not had a back and forth like this ever. I am so happy about this game. <laughs> <laughs> it is fun. I gotta say, I'm enjoying myself. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to play another. So I'm gonna try real hard here. <laughs> um, so that ends round number two, gentlemen. How are you feeling after that? I, I'm a little nervous because uh, usually by this point I'm I'm clearly losing. And and I I have a shot at the title or not the title but the round the game. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. No no I know, hey. I, know, I know this is a title this is a title as well I count it as a title. Oh, yeah okay. Uh, you, I, Jay you and I win this tonight we can we can just claim a big victory for right. for ourselves you know what I mean? Perfect. Yes. <laughs> um, okay we'll go to round number three. Here are the rules. In round number three, the players will be asked three questions of their choosing from the remaining five categories. They will be given time to write down an answer to be re to be revealed when time is up. Difficulty has again increased. Three points are awarded for each correct answer. The player with the highest score at the end of this round is the winner. And we do this. Oops. We do this according to score. And Jay, you are in the lead again. You get to pick first. 90s movies. 90s movies for question one. Francois. Hmm. Action adventure. <clears throat> Action adventure for question number two. And Jay, final pick. Um, sci fi fantasy. Excellent. Hmm. And that'll be the third question of the round. Gentlemen, are you ready? Ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Round three, question number one. In 90s movies, in Dances with Wolves, what is the name Dunbar gives to the wolf he befriends? In Dances with Wolves, what is the name Dunbar gives to the wolf he befriends? <clears throat> Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll start with Jason. Socks? So close. Francois. I also wrote socks. Also so close. It's white socks, isn't it? It's two socks. Two socks. Wait, no, then then we share the three points. Yeah, I, no, I, had, I had the right oh, sock and he had the one. left sock. Yeah. Two socks. Sure. I sure. see Two it. Socks. Sure, okay. I don't think so. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> we'll move on to round three, question number two. Action adventure. Which movie features bank robbers wearing Austin Powers masks? Which movie features bank robbers wearing Austin Powers masks? Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to start with Francois this time. I think there's an assortment of costumes in this one. I'm going to write the town. The town is a good guess, but incorrect. Jason. Okay. Point break. Point break is where they got the idea from but also incorrect it was baby driver. Oh well, yeah. I was thinking the, um, the remake, I haven't seen it. So I was like, I don't know. Maybe they do that in point break Two, the remake, the remake. 
That'd be the laziest subtitle for a movie ever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> something, something to the remake. The remake. So is it two or is it a remake? I'm very confused. <laughs> you know it, what? It, it can't be new and improved. <laughs> Cow. You know what? Kevin Smith actually pulled it off with Jane Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. Uh, sure. 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 So this one is somewhat for all the marbles. Round three. Question number three. I guess Francois has to get it correct for him to win. Jay, I will. Either I will. way, this is going to be interesting. Sci-fi fantasy for three points. In Armageddon, what are the names of the two shuttlecrafts that bring Bruce Willis and his crew to the surface of a giant asteroid? <laughs> I'm going to write this. I'm going to write this. Write something. I mean, you guessed with one, and you got that one correct. I'll repeat it. In Armageddon, what are the name of the two shuttlecrafts that bring Bruce Willis and his crew to the surface of a giant asteroid? Five, four, <laughs> three. Did you remember them? Two, one. Francois first. Pegasus and Daedalus. Incorrect. We have a winner, Jason Bedard. What did you answer? Um, independent and re uh, reliant, or independence and reliance, but I don't think that's right. Jason, independence is correct. The other one was freedom. Oh, freedom and independence. But with that, we have a winner, Jason Bedard. His first win in the league. I am... I mean, I don't want to say dumbfounded, but very much impressed. Taking out Francois, who was two and one. Jay, how do you feel? Um, it's like one of those Oscar wins when they didn't think they were going to win, and then they have to make a speech. And you know, I'd like to thank my family and 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 God and the directors and I don't, I don't and know. We love you. We really love you. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, and Francois, a lot for I, you. Honestly, though, I as much as like I just lost by seriously like okay four points because he he no yeah, he didn't even get that last one so I lost by one point but this is I think the the, the highest I've ever uh, scored at one of these games or at least it's one of my top scores so I'm I'm yeah. happy with my performance here today and I got to say two of them I pulled out of somewhere dark no, certainly I, impressive for sure I mm -hmm. I I like that. It came down to the last question, like yeah. like the whole thing came down to the last question. Had I oh, had no. I won, oh oh oh, I'd be jumping around. <laughs> Good show, man. All right, thank you. With that, we'll say goodbye to everybody. Don't forget to like, share, up, subscribe. Uh, Jay, your next match will be up against a good friend of yours, Mike Mueller, in the semifinals. That will be soon. <laughs> coming up <laughs> coming up for sure <laughs> so we'll see you again francois we'll see you always you own the channel uh <laughs> wait how did won. i not win how, how did i not <laughs> win this? Wait, wait, wait. was this like the stone cutters am i supposed to let him win is this, like, like, is this what this is I, I i i didn't know i didn't know guys i'm sorry if your tires are flat in the morning you'll know why okay <laughs> that would be an impressive feat Jay is three hours away. Yeah. We got well, ways. Yeah, that, he'll never know it was me then. You'll never know. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Ciao.